Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to do 583 divided by 4 <clears throat> only. I'm going to use the, it's a fancy word, it's the division using explicit trade. So that's a fancy name. Uh, using a special technique, a lot of students just call this the column method of division. And so we're going to take 583 divided by 4. <clears throat> and when I see this problem, I'm going to write it out kind of in that traditional way of writing the problem. I'm going to put 4 divides into, so there's the house, and I'm going to write 583, and I'm going to kind of gap it a little bit, and give us a little bit of breathing room there. And then I'm going to put columns right here. All right, now, when I see the number 583, I'm going to think of 583 as money, and so that 5 really stands for 500, the 8 really stands for 80, and that 3 really stands for 3. All right, so in terms of money, right? So when I look over here at this 5, um, that stands for $500 bills, and I need to divide it by 4, meaning into 4 separate groups. Well, that means each person, or 4 separate people, that means each person gets one of those hundred dollar bills so we have one hundred dollar bill left over so I think of this number right here as a hundred dollar bill and I don't have enough to divide up amongst the the four people anymore so I'm gonna cash that hundred dollar bill in for ten ten dollar bills and then over here I have eight ten dollar bills already plus the 10 I'm cashing in. So now I cross off this 8. I now have 18 $10 bills because I had 10 $10 bills over here plus the 8 I already had. That gives me 18 $10 bills. And I'm going to divide those 18 $10 bills amongst our four people. And that means each person gets four $10 bills because that gives us 16 ten dollar bills that we have used so we have two ten dollar bills left over and that's not enough to divide amongst the four people so I'm gonna take these two ten dollar bills and cash them in for twenty one dollar bills plus the three one dollar bills that we already have means we now have twenty three one dollar bills and those 23 $1 bills divided up amongst the four people means each person is going to get five $1 bills, leaving us with a remainder of three dollar bills left over. So we're going to put a remainder three up here. So our answer is 145 remainder three, and that is the column method of division for 583 divided by 4.